Do you have a passion and dream to work with reptiles or animals in general? Well, this is a message to the younger generation. I have this baby northern copperhead right here. Now, when I was a kid, I loved snakes. Even though my parents hated them, I always loved them. Always dreamed of working with them. Ever since I saw them on TV shows such as Steve Irwin, Jeff Corwin, that's when that passion and love really took off. Now, at that time, there was no Instagram and stuff like that. I didn't know that there was other people out there that loved the same animals as me and had this passion. So it's a little different now, a little easier to connect with others. Once I reached a certain point in life, I was working many jobs. I decided to pursue this dream, made it a reality. So my advice to you is to really look at what you want to do in life. These goals and dreams you have, pursue it no matter what. Even though the majority of people don't like snakes, you're gonna hear a lot of people just hate on these awesome animals. But if it's something you're passionate about, learning to deal with that criticism of these animals, because we all know as people that love snakes, seeing these comments and hateful things said about snakes does hurt the heart. But being able, especially at a young age while growing up now, being able to handle the situations, responding not out of emotion, but out of education, that's how you're going to change people's views. But again, pursue these goals and dreams. I promise you, if it's something you're passionate about and want to do anything in life, you can achieve it. I'm telling you. So my advice is to really look at what you want to do in life, pursue it. And then especially online meeting or seeing things online, seeing how hateful, and negative some people are towards snakes, being able to respond positive, like with an educational approach is going to help benefit these animals and actually make a difference in this world. And that will help you also in real life, your approach when talking and educating the public, it's gonna help. It's gonna do so much better helping them have a better view on snakes and actually having an impact by your approach, not responding out of emotion. It's really hard. I failed to do it many times, but I know that there's been zero results from responding out of emotion and anger, and there have been results from responding, taking a second thinking and responding in an educational, positive way, that's, that's had results, positive ones. So yeah, my advice, pursue your dreams, learn to deal with criticism, even in the reptile world, other people are gonna, you might ask a question, and these people that have been working with them might respond very rude to you. And, and it, it, it's probably gonna make you not feel too good, but learn to focus on yourself. Find the people that do help answer questions, that do help guide you in the right direction. Focus on that and just ignore when people do respond negatively and you will get far, I'm telling you. But yeah, just wanted to throw that out there because I want I know that anyone with a passion and love for anything in life can achieve that if they set their mind to it. And yeah, feel free to message me on Instagram, even leaving comments. Let me know other topics you'd like me to touch on. All my opinion, all things based on my experience. So it might differ from other people, but yeah. Any suggestions, any topics, any snakes of mine that you want to see, let me know. Love you all. Subscribe for more. Take care.